Hi there, I'm Robert Kessler, joined today by the star of WeTV's David Tutera Unveiled. David Tutera, thanks so much for joining us it's today. It's great, great to be here. Thank you. So you had the show on for a couple seasons now, but there's sort of a retooling with the current mm -hmm. season that's airing right now. What's different about it? Well, I'm actually really excited about it because we've done great, great seasons of, actually five seasons of My Fair Wedding. And this season, it's a new show, new title, new format. It's called David Tutera Unveiled. So it's really pulling back the curtain of me, my life. Um, it's much more reality. You're seeing the inside of my home. You're seeing my family, my friends, the behind the scenes of the episodes that of the, of the events that we do. So it isn't this picture perfect environment. Everybody sort of was like, David, how do you do all these great events? They seem like it's just magic. The reality is it's a lot of work and it's not magic. Although we get to a final resolution where there's a great, great celebration, there's a lot that goes in between that you're going to be seeing. Well, the first episode we saw sort of this giant Broadway slash Vegas wedding you were throwing and, yes. you know, moments before uh, it seemed like you were not happy with the space yes. and switching everything up that. So we've got, look forward to seeing more of that sort of last minute scramble. You will see, you know, if I'm not happy with something, I'm not happy with something. And I, I have high expectations. And in that particular episode that you just saw, I walked in and I was very underwhelmed and I needed to see changes. And that's the reality of why I create events that are so successful. So I push the envelope and what's been really interesting this season is, is that it's not just about what's happening with the particular honoree that's having the event. It's also the things that lead up to with my driver and my, my makeup artist and my friends and, and my assistant and my housekeeper. It's, a, it's my life. It's what it really is. And as I've been telling people as I've been, as I've been doing interviews is to get out of the house for me is sometimes quite, quite a challenge. And I say that in a funny way. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of you know seeing more of your family, you're mm -hmm. a father now. Correct? I am. I'm a father. How is that it. going? My daughter Cielo is her name. Is the most amazing little girl. I'm loving every single minute of it, and I can say this as humbly as possible. I didn't think I'd be as an amazing dad as I am, <laughs> but I am, and I'm really proud of it. It's um, the best thing that I've ever done. I can't wait to see her. I miss her. I've only been gone a day. It's been fantastic. What's the, uh, what's the balance like? Because especially working from home, yeah. I feel like it might be difficult to kind of separate. Um, I have to tell you it's great. It's funny. I was doing a bunch of radio interviews last week. This is a great story. And no one knows this. Um, I, was, I got up early, and I was like, okay, Cielo sleeps really well. She can't wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning because I had from 6 to 7, I had all these radio interviews. 6.10, she starts to cry. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this is going to happen. So I'll, during my radio interviews, I had Cielo in my arm. Then I had two crazy dogs having an argument, barking. <laughs> so I had to have the phone doing a radio interview, Cielo trying to make sure she doesn't speak. And then I had the two dogs who I had to throw outside in the backyard to make sure they didn't bark. And I was balancing like, okay, I'm being a celebrity and doing interviews. I'm being a dad. I have dogs in the back and I'm keeping it all calm. And you know what? It actually worked out. I don't want to constantly have to do that, but you balance by being calm. If, you're, if you get as hysterical as the moment, then there's no balancing. Do you think, um, I mean, like, so planning weddings for so long, I, I think sort of it's such a stressful day for people. People probably get crazy around that time. I think maybe planning weddings for so long, you're kind of used to that sort of mm -hmm. chaos. Do you think that's a good prep? That's actually a good point. Um, I think my life has always been chaotic, and it's and not me, but my life around me. And I sort of, for whatever reason, draw that energy. I think because I'm a calm person, the chaotic comes towards me for me to hopefully calm it down. So having dealt with insane celebrities, insane clients, insane staffing over a period of 25 plus years, a baby was like, this is super easy. I mean, this is like really the joy is just that it's calming. Every day that I'm home, which has been two months now, she's almost three, I take a moment in my day, whether it's the morning, afternoon, or night before she goes to sleep and I go upstairs into my bedroom and I take her and we take a 15 minute nap together. And that's sort of for me because she provides this calming moment and then I just wake up and we're like good to go for the rest of the day. <laughs> it's great. I have to tell that's you, nice. I highly recommend it. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple years from now. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Um, well, so the first episode yes. I, I watched, um, the bride was a little bit, um, you know, over the top, crazy. What, what kind of a little bit? <laughs> I like a lot. She's crazy. What kind of characters do we have to look forward to in the rest? Let's of the see, season? Marcella. She was, um, as you saw, she was over the top. I only understood every fifth word she told me, so it took me about three weeks to understand exactly what she wanted, because I didn't understand her thick accent, which is from Colombia. Um, you've got not just weddings. You've got Tammy Roman, who is a, a reality star from Basketball Wives and Real World. I'm doing her daughter's Super 17 birthday party. Um, 
All I can say is what I expected to happen didn't happen. <laughs> what did happen, I was shocked happened. Um, so definitely tune into that one. You've got Shane Lamas, Lorenzo Lamas' daughter, and doing a renewal of her vows. Interesting concept of why they got married, how they got married, and how I executed a party with them, which was quite <laughs> challenging. Um, this weekend coming up, I've got Mama Drama, which is two mothers, a mother of the bride, obviously, and the mother of the groom, who literally can barely be in the same room together. So it was nothing about the bride and groom. This issue was literally the two of them being able to have some sense of peace for at least eight hours of a party. That was challenging. I actually thought we wouldn't get through it. I don't know if we did or not, but you'll have to tune in to see that. <laughs> um, what else? There's, there's just so many different personalities. There's this moment where I've got a, um, a, a couple, they're an older couple, not older, but they're in their 40s. Um, we did race car driving together. Uh, we had a, it was a butterfly celebration, and it was honestly one of my favorite episodes because it's got some emotion, drama, and some craziness going on it as well. What um, is sort of the biggest problem that arises during somebody planning a wedding? You've seen so many. I've well, you know, I think it's the they're they're not prepared. The reality is is that they're not prepared. They don't realize how much time it takes to put a get to put together a party, and I think they're just misinformed. It's interesting to me, and I, I find this sort of fascinating. There are so many ways to learn about how to plan a wedding. My television show, my books, other people's shows, other people's books, on the web. You name it, you can get it. Brides come to me completely clueless. And I don't know if it's because they're overwhelmed with too much information or they just assume they know it. So they're stepping down that path of planning with no direction. 